All right, we got a uh, 2000 Audi A4 1.8T manual transmission 01A 5 speed and we're going to be removing the center differential. So these are T45 torques. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Alright, so after removing the bolts, you're able to simply remove the center diff. Do be careful because there is a spring. Alright, in order to remove the differential from the case, um, this snap ring needs to come out. And then an 8mm by 1.25 bolt gets threaded into the rubber. There is a rubber o-ring that goes between the plug and the case, and then there's the snap ring. So the next part, um, you have to remove the torsen from the spline. Um, it's splined to obviously where the drive shaft connects. Um, right now I have it sitting on this uh, vise so that the torsen has a opening, or so that it has an enough of an opening so that the torsen can sit freely in there and drop. Um, now it is recommended that you use a wooden dowel, but I found uh, a socket and uh, extension to work better. Um, the last push I ended up uh, using a 5 16 Allen wrench and you can kind of like push it out and that's what I did and it's ready to drop out. So here is the back end of the torsen in all of its glory. Um, get some light. Uh, you can see the, the pins that run through the entire assembly. Um, basically what you have to do is tap these pins and then pull them out through the back. This is the drive shaft side of the, of the torsen. And there, it looks like there's three pins. So tap the spiral pins, uh, six thirty sec or six thirty two thread pitch. <clears throat> Go very slow, back it back it out, put it back in, keep doing it. And move on to the next one. After you get them tapped, you can thread in one of the screws or bolts that you bought and this is the way I prefer to do it um, but basically you'd hit them out from the back from the bottom side of this so here's an example of one of the spiral pins removed um, it's still tapped and the screw is still in it um, yeah <laughs> I don't know what else to say they weren't that hard to get out um, I did manage to fuck up one of them. I don't know if you can see it, but basically pulled the threads right off the screw. So if you do this, see if you can find grade eight um, bolts. That would probably make this a lot better. Unfortunately, I don't have any in my area, so I have to work with what I have. I used some uh, whiteout to mark the position of the gears against the body of the torsen. Apparently this is going to make reassembly easier. I still have one pin left to take out, so I did this before taking out the last pin. You can see that one's out. That one's out. So, obviously, that one. Alright, next step is removing the pins. Um, they will fall right out.
better method it seems. Just wiggle them. So I kept these blind as they came out of the housing. Um, I don't plan on reclocking them. It should be easier to put it back together this way. I can just drop them right. So I'm adding this mark up here for Roman numerals. So I know this is the first one that I took out. So that's here it is completely disassembled. Um, I got the center stack of gears out. Um, I kept them in the same orientation. So this gear is on this side and this gear is on this side and there's washers in between them. So these are my machined washers that I picked up. Um, so I we are replacing washer one, which is this one. It's orange. And washer four, which is the center one, which these were together. So the center one is going to be this one. Oh my god, they stick together. <clears throat> so I guess it's pretty important to mention that um, the washer between the two large center gears, um, that would be this one, um, the original is not bezeled, um, but the washer that you get when uh, you order this uh, mod, the machined washers, has a bezel on it. Um, it specifically says on the website that the bezel does not matter, so they can go in in either orientation. So just thought that was important to mention. I did skip a part in the video, um, the reassembly. Um, so uh, if you just follow your marks, it's pretty straightforward. Um, make sure your marks are very good. Don't skimp on it. Definitely use whiteout. I was so thankful that I had whiteout because it really, it really helped putting this back together a lot easier helped make it a lot easier. Um, you can test for binding by just rotating the gears um, once it's everything's back as an assembly. Um, I already tested it a few times. It's, it doesn't bind at all really. Um, so I think I nailed the reassembly. Um, I really am looking forward to driving the car now with this on there hopefully makes a noticeable difference. I mean, four to one should be noticeable. I'm gonna put it on the car tonight. I actually had a spare transmission, so I snagged this from my spare transmission and modified it, and now tonight I'm going to take apart my center diff and throw this one in, and also refill it with uh, new gear oil. And there it is, 4 to 1 modded diff. And you can test it one more time to make sure there's no binding after everything's all assembled and the spiral pins are back in. Looks like I did an okay job. Uh, I'm going to blast this with some brake cleaner um, and then it's going to get put in tonight.